In this video, we're going to do a free fall problem where you initially throw an object down. So you throw a pumpkin down from a bridge with a velocity of 4 meters per second. It hits the ground in 3 seconds. How high is the bridge, and how fast is the pumpkin going before hitting the ground? Okay, well if I was going to draw this scenario, here you are on the bridge. It's like a, well, it's a cliff. Let's just call it a cliff. And then you're going to throw the pumpkin down. So here's the pumpkin. Fantastic. Looks exactly like an apple, except it's got, well smiley okay now instead of dropping this or throwing it up you throw it down so it starts with an initial velocity down which would be negative four negative four meters per second okay and that negative is really really important so let's make sure you can see it okay so you throw it down with a negative four meters per second velocity it hits the ground in three seconds. So the time it takes is, let's write this up here, three seconds. Now, without really knowing anything else about the problem, I know that G, since we're near the sur surface of the Earth and we're ignoring air resistance, is gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's the acceleration. Um, now to figure out how high the bridge is, we are going to think about what is the initial height Put a question mark next to it because that's the thing that we're trying to find and we're going to say that at the ground at the bottom that that final position the pumpkin reaches is going to be zero um, choosing the the ground to be zero is a common thing in physics um, and in this case it's going to make it very easy for us if we think about all right what was the height that we started from if we ended at zero okay good so I've got time, I've got the acceleration, I've got the initial and final positions. So to figure out um, for part A how high the bridge is, I'm going to use this equation. Negative one half g t squared plus v naught t plus y naught because it has all of those variables inside of it. Uh, before I plug anything in, I'm going to get rid of anything that's zero and then rearrange to solve for y naught, the thing that we're looking for. So uh, the only thing that's zero is the final height, y equals zero. So negative one half g t squared plus v naught t plus y naught. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's the only thing that's zero. Okay. So to figure out what the initial height is, y naught, to solve for that, I'm first going to add one half g t squared to both sides. And then I'm going to subtract v naught t from both sides. So that's how I'm going to solve for the initial height. Um, and then I plug all of my information in. So half of 9.8 meters per second squared times 3 seconds, the whole thing squared, minus a negative 4, that's important, meters per second times three seconds. Okay, so this first term is going to give me uh, 44.1, um, and that's going to be meters. And then the second term is going to be a positive 12. So add those two together, and you get 56.1 meters. So that is the initial height, and therefore the height of the bridge, uh, because that's where you drop, I'm sorry, through the pumpkin down from. All right, now let's work on part B. How fast is the pumpkin going before hitting the ground? Okay, so I've cleared some space for part B, um, and here I'm gonna draw the pumpkin right at the ground. Remember, it's right before it hits the ground. Um, so it hasn't actually hit the ground yet. And there's gonna be some final velocity that's much bigger and we are trying to figure out what is that velocity when you've gotten to a height of zero. Um, now, I could use a couple of different equations to solve for this one, but the easiest equation is just going to be our straightforward velocity as a function of time, so negative gt plus v naught. Um, and in this case, I would use negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 3 seconds plus 
that negative 4 meters per second. So I'm going to get a negative number plus a negative number, so my, my amount is going to get bigger. Um, and 9.8 times 3 seconds is 29.4. So it's negative 29.4 seconds cancel meters per second minus 4. So that's going to give me a negative 33.4 meters per second for the final velocity. Uh, and it makes sense that it's negative because this is a velocity that's going down right before it hits the ground. Um, make sure you don't think that the velocity before the object hits the ground is zero. Uh, it's true that after this pumpkin like hits the ground and <laughs> splatters or whatever, that it'll come to a stop. But when we're working with free fall problems, the final velocity is always the velocity that it reaches at the end of the fall, not the final velocity after it. Congratulations, this video is done. The ground.